Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I'm so happy to be crafting. Creativation was a tremendously awesome experience this year. And I wanted to get in the craft room and play with some things. So this is paper. It's called Wisteria Lane and it's from Uniquely Creative. And this paper collection was given to me by the company. And then I wanted to play with this box is one of these XL dies from Eileen Hull, and it's 666498 storage box, and it's Eileen Hull for Sizzix. Now, she already has done a, a great video on how to actually assemble this, so I just wanted to point out the parts here. And so this is longer than a 12-inch paper, so you won't be able to die cut it all at once. So you'll have to break it up. Let's see if I can look on here and see if you can see the lines. Okay, so these two pieces right here, it's actually four, two pieces here and here. This piece here, you need two of those, and that is these two right here. So you need one, two, and same thing with the bottom. This is the bottom side, and that does one and two. And it lines them up perfectly so that the paper on the lid matches the alignment on the bottom. And then of this, that's the, just the square for the top and the bottom you need to. And then right over here, there's this just one little rectangle all by itself. And that is so that you can put them on the inside here. You will need four so that it will fit down inside right like that. Now, since Eileen has a great tutorial on how to assemble the box, I'm going to defer to her. And I'm going to leave you the link underneath this video. Click to expand the information below the, below the title of my video, and I will give you the link to how to actually assemble the box. I did use the mat board from Sizzix, and I'm going to be using some of the Mosteria Lane collection, and I'm using their chipboard pieces, Wisteria Lane Creative Cuts. It's not chipboard, it's just ephemera, but they're so nicely cut, they look like chipboard. And I'm using these, which are the Dusty Purple Flowers, and this, which is Lace Doilies. These are not part of the collection, they're just something in there. They're their evergreen product. And I have these, which are eight millimeter glass domes. These are two of the lace doilies. This is one of the ephemera pieces, and it is such thick uh, cardstock. You're going to love it. And here's the flowers that I have set aside. So I'm going to use my Fabri Tac. And if you have a front of the box that you really like, you know, I don't think I have a front there. It's just all so beautiful. I'm going to use my Fabri Tac because these are, it's gluing fabric ish things onto the paper. There. And there. And I just had a thought. I have this, it's a holographic um, ribbon that I picked up from the store, and I think this is probably like Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. But what I was thinking was it would be really pretty just to have a couple of these pieces peeking out. There we go, just another little touch for that organza ribbon. Organza makes everything look so feminine. I don't know what it is. All right, now I want this on there, but I'm thinking I'm going to pop that up a little. And first, let's get this down there this down there and then we will put this on there with some foam tape now i'm leaning toward thicker foam tape so i'm going to use these uh cubbies from or cubies excuse me from barely art and right down the middle of her and they are a thicker foam tape and i don't normally reach for them because of the fact that they are so thick but when you want that project lifted up, that's the time to use it, right? That lifts her up just enough that she's above those flowers. And then I have, let's see what we have here. Let's put this purple one in her hair and this one down here. Those flowers are the perfect accent to this. Now this is a little too long, I think. Okay, 
the next thing I want is those little droplets right here. I think I need a couple more pieces of that foam. We'll see. I'm just going to pour a few in here. So get them flipped over. Get my gem tack out and place a few of them. I think I'm going to place them like they're water droplets using the jewel picker. -er. Oh, that's perfect. Marby Ushida is the one who makes this jewel picker. And I've field tested so many jewel pickers, you know, jewel pickup tools. This is finally the one that was working for me. It's just gummy. It's not something like wax or, or a needed eraser. So you're not always like twisting it up and, and actually using it up. This is always going to be ready to go. And all you have to do is if it gets dusty and quits working, you just rinse it off and it starts working all over again. Now, Mar so Marby Ushida has just coming out with a new jewel picker tool. I need to find out the release date. Um, and it is single tipped, but it's bigger and it's flatter on the end so that you can pick up heavier items and you can pick up your diamonds for your diamond dot projects as well, which is pretty cool. So I haven't tried it for that because I just got home from Creativation and I am still unpacking and playing with the materials that I was gifted. So this is so, so beautiful. Now this again is that storage box from Eileen Hall and isn't that just super, uh, it's just so stunning. I'm looking at this and I think it also needs one of these chipboard stickers here. So today this, noteworthy, photograph, simple things, documented, and love this. I think, let's go with, let's go with this one. I think because we've got so much lavender here, let's just add a, just a pinch of blue. I don't think I need my tool there. So what I want to show you on their stickers is that they're foam stickers. The foam is completely under the whole thing. It's not like a couple pieces of foam dots here and there under your sticker. It's the entire sticker is foam. And another thing I've done with these that you can do is you can distress part of the edge around there. So I did that on one of my other projects. Looks really cute. So this is just phenomenal. I love all those goodies on there, the ephemera, the colors, the cardstock, so fun. You could put ribbon around here, so many possibilities. And look at all that storage space for your crafty goodies. This could be your secret place for chocolate, just saying. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and follow me for more content. And make sure you look underneath this video, expand the information to see all of the links I'm giving you.